find this small old boxing is, is more important than any big venue because you can be nearer the boxes, you can see it in the better light. It's more of a lonely feeling. You get more of a feel for what's happening in the ring. It's closer to amateur boxing, and I love my amateur boxing. Uh, I, I've been to big venues. I've been to the O2 to watch Lewis. I've been, I've been to a, a, a couple of big, big venues, and I, it's just not as enjoyable. Um, I enjoy small all like this. One of the best venues I've been to has got to be the Olympia in, in Liverpool for the feeling you get there of the crowd and just the hustle and bustle of it. And, and that's, that's my reason for it. Enjoy the occasion. You know, you're a professional fighter, um, and th th there's no pressure from anyone really. It's, I think it's quite a contrast because you've got your nervous type, and then you've got your loud type, and then you've got your, you know, your type that is just calm. Um, I think it's a good place to be. I think. Most of the people in the dress room get on well. Um, obviously nerve wracking, but that's you know, that's what you've got to do. And how would I describe it? You can you can t you can cut the tension with a knife. But um, yeah, it's a good place to be. Good place to be. Good feeling. I think all boxes are different, you know. And you've got to know how to how to approach that and how to talk to them. You know, for instance, um, you know I've got boxes. If you shouted at them in the corner, they probably do the opposite to what you told them to do. But then I've got boxers that probably need a good shout into sometimes just to G them up. So um, I think you've got to know how to how to ca handle the respective person. Yeah, that bit ain't in here, Craig. Yeah? It ain't a bit like that in these gloves. Yeah, no, it's not. Yeah. Sound. Um, if you've got a f uh, boxers on the bill that are selling tickets and they can sell enough to cover their purse and their opponent's purse and a little towards the show then obviously the show won't break even or possibly make a profit uh, but you know a lot of the time um, they put these promoters are putting shows on and losing money out of it like you know it's, no one's going to do that for, uh, endlessly are they? What, what Steve Stims has done recently is, is obviously there'll be a few journeymen on the card but I think we've seen a lot more local boys fight each other I think you have just the you normally with a journey when you know they're not going to come to win, they're going to come to teach the prospect a few lessons. But I think you have two boys who come to win. It's the crowd, the crowd is certainly the winners. I think um, in moderation, I think those fights are good because uh, boxers learn a lot more in those fights than they do fighting a journey one. Well, the so-called journey man. Are so underrated, you know, and people sit there in the armchairs and look at this kid, oh, look at him, he's, he's lost his last 20, or he's lost, they just don't understand the game, like, you know, there's so much more to boxing than they think. These guys who are so called journeymen, um, they're not obviously not ticket sellers and they're just taking fights when and when they can get them. So often they're going in when they're against guys who've been training full time um, and they might have a five day, you know, five day week job, so it's very difficult for them. So I think the journeymen are very underrated.